I'm Miss Erin from C.C. Meller Memorial Library, here for today's middle grade moment. So what is middle grade moment? We're going to be doing this every Thursday on our Facebook page, and it's going to feature an activity and a few books that are great for middle grade readers, which is about 9 to 12 or 4th through 7th grade. Um, so let's get started. Today, I don't know if you knew this because it's kind of hard to keep track of days, but we're in April and April is National Poetry Month. So I thought we could talk about a few books that are about poetry, have poetry in them, and all of them are available for you for free online through Hoopla, which is a library app. So if you've never used Hoopla before, you can go on your desktop device or today we're going to be using an iPad here and it is an app that you can get through the App Store. Do you see the one up here called Hoopla? It's got a little blue icon and once you download this app it will ask you to create a login with an email address and a password so make sure that you get your parents permission to use an email address and it will ask you what library you use and it will ask for your library card number which is the big long number on the front of your library card if you have a yellow card through the Allegheny County Library System or it might be on the back of your card if you have a black Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh card. So if you don't know your library card number you can give us an email at ccmeller at einetwork.net and we can get you set up with that. If you don't have a library card, you and your adult can go through our online catalog and apply for a, um, an e-access card there. And we just ask that patrons are at least 11 years old, or if they're not 11, that you do it with your adult so that your adult can apply in their name. But once you have a library card and you are logged into Hoopla, let's look at some of the things that we can access um, that have to do with poetry today. So I'm going to click on the Hoopla app and I went through and I found a few books that I wanted to highlight for this month. The first one is called Love That Dog and it's a book by Sharon Creech. I'm going to hold it up so you can see here. It's a book by Sharon Creech and it is about a boy named Jack and Jack is assigned a class project to keep a poetry journal as his class studies poetry. And Jack doesn't like poetry. He thinks poetry is for girls. And he thinks that all the poets wrote a long, long time ago and that nothing they wrote has anything to do with his life. And so he starts keeping track of that in his poetry journal, how much he doesn't like poetry. And then he finds that the poems that his class studies start to speak to him and start to have to do with things that he's more interested in. And he finds ways to take the ideas that his, his class is studying, the, the ideas and the poems that they're looking at, and turn it into things that have to do with his life. Now the title of the book is Love That Dog, remember? And it's got this yellow cover with this yellow dog on it. And so eventually Jack tells us about his dog and um, rewrites one of, his favorite, one of his favorite poems to be about his dog. So this is a really neat one that tells a story but does it in poems. So that's the first book that I wanted to talk about. The other thing that you should know is that this one is available as an ebook or as an audiobook. So if you've never tried an audiobook before, poetry is a great way to try out an audiobook because a lot of poems are really meant to be read out loud and meant to be heard. So it can be really neat to listen to a poem um, that you're used to just seeing on a page. Sometimes you may not connect with something when you just see it on the page and hearing it, listening to it, really helps it hit home. So let's look at another book. The second one that I wanted to highlight is also about writing poetry and it's called Pizza, Pigs, and Poetry, How to Write a Poem by Jack Prolutsky. So let me hold that one up for you. So Jack Prolutsky 
is an author and he writes poetry for kids. He's got a lot of books that are a lot of big collections of poetry for kids. He wrote one of my favorite poems growing up that starts out, Homework, oh homework, I hate you, you stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. So a lot of his poems are really funny. And in this book, he gives examples of his life, things that happened to him that helped inspire his poems. So you'll read a page or two about something that happened in his life, then you'll get to read the poem that inspired that, or that was inspired by that, and then he'll have an idea of a writing prompt for you to find something in your life that might inspire you to write a poem. So it's a good book if you are interested in writing poetry and interested in seeing where that can take you, but you just don't know how to get started. A lot of his poems are really funny and a lot of them rhyme if you like rhyming poetry. All right, the third book that I wanted to talk about today is called Out of Wonder. It's Poems Celebrating Poets and it's by Kwame Alexander. And this is also available two ways through Hoopla. The first one is actually as a video that's a read along. And this is a really neat one because it's got beautiful illustrations and the beautiful illustrations are by Equa Holmes. Um, but if you don't wanna do the read along with the, the cool illustrations and the way that they change um, in a video, you can also access this one as an audiobook. And the audiobook is part of a really cool program that Hoopla is doing where a lot of their books are not going toward your monthly limit. Usually Hoopla limits you to a certain number of checkouts per month, um, but because of all of our schools and libraries are closed right now, they have a few extra titles that are not going to count toward your limit. So even if you hit that 15 titles that you're allowed a month, even if you hit that and it says, oh, I can't check anything else out, you'll still be able to listen to this one on audio. But I really like this one because it has really, really neat illustrations and each poem is about a different poet. So if you find a poem or a way of writing poetry that you really like in this book, you can look at that poet and you can find out more information about them and read some of their poetry. One more thing, just a little bonus, because I doubt I'm going to be the first person to tell you about Shel Silverstein, another, po another poet who writes really funny poems but I just found out where the sidewalk ends is also available on Hoopla. So if you have never read where the sidewalk ends or if you just need to read something really funny right now, this would be a great one to read. So I just thought I'd add that as one more little bonus for you on Hoopla. Like I said, you are allowed to check out 15 things a month, 15, 10, five, um, and once you hit that monthly limit, Hoopla will say, you can't check anything else out, of mo out this month. Um, that limit ends every month on the first of the month. So if you hit your monthly limit for April, then you will be able to check out new things on May 1st. So just keep that in mind as you're, as you're reading things on Hoopla um, and try to, try to pace yourself so that you don't use everything of it right at the beginning of the month unless you want to, in which case that's okay. But I did promise with this video that we would have a number of books that I was recommending, but also an activity that you could do yourself. So this month's activity is actually writing your own poetry. Have you ever heard of something called magnetic poetry? I used to have them on my fridge when I was growing up. They were little magnets and each magnet is its own word. And you can move them around and you can rearrange them and you can put them together to make poems and so your poems could be serious, they could be touching, they could be silly and goofy and funny, but if you don't have those magnets at home, how do you play like that? You can go to the Magnetic Poetry website, I'm going to pull it up here on Safari, and they have two friends and family versions of their Magnetic Poetry sets that you can play with here. So. We can be a nature poet, 
or we can write some geek poetry. I'm gonna write some geek poetry. So I'm gonna click on it here and it's gonna open in a new tab and you'll notice it has a bunch of words running along the side here and a big blank space in the middle. So I'm gonna pick some words and I'm gonna drag them over. Let's see, what can we do? Mm, I, oh, grabbed the wrong one. I, Hmm, almost Ac access. I, nope, here, let's put can in there. I can almost access the name and almost access the galactic name. How intelligent it. Hmm. I used up all my ideas. I can almost access the galactic name. How intelligent it. I've run out of verbs, so I'm going to need to try more words. Down here, I can tap more words and it'll give me a new set of extra words on the side while still keeping the things that I dragged over on this side. Let me see if I can add more to this. I can almost act, I can almost access the galactic name. How intelligent it would be How intelligent it would download. I can almost access the galactic name. How intelligent it would download. Sounds good, right? You can always get more words and see if you comes up if you come up with anything new. So I want to hear the poetry that you come up with, whether you decide to do nature poetry or geek poetry. And I wanna hear if you have any favorite books of poetry or favorite poems that you wanna share with me. Otherwise, I will see you here next Thursday for another middle grade moment from C.C. Miller Memorial Library. Have a good week, everybody.